Welcome to Slosh Mining. On our previous video, we tested two graphics cards mining Ethereum Classic and Ethereum in zombie mode. Today, we're going to take a look at the overclocks of those cards and see what our hash rates are, our profitability of these cards, and how much electricity it uses. Let's take a look. Now to turn up the overclocks and undervolting to use less power, let's see what we can achieve with these cards. We're going to set the frequency at 1, 1. And I'm just doing the last one. Let's apply those settings. We're going to be using 900 millivolts. We're going to be using timing level 1. We're going to change the frequency on the memory to 2100. Let's go to GPU 2, manual. Let's just open up all these settings. Okay, so the frequency, core frequency, I will be dropping it down to 1100. Let's just apply that. Our uh, voltage, we're dropping down to 900. Memory timings, we're going to test level 1. And the frequency on the memory, we're going to bump it up to 1.9. I wasn't able to get this any higher when mining Ethereum in the past. Maybe it's just the card that I've got. Okay, so let's just insert all our settings for the graphics cards before we do the test. While running the tests, I will leave the stock settings, hash rates, and power consumption on the right hand side so that you can see the difference between overclocking and undervolting these two graphics cards. We're running ETC first. Okay, now that we've tested all three batch files and recorded our results, let's go to what to mine and see what our profits are with these two cards. 1734 at 143. And then we've got 1924. At 143. And if we look at our profits, overclocking and undervolting these cards, you can still earn $1.45 before electricity, which is still quite profitable. And this is mining Ethereum directly, not going through the NISASH. 51 mega hash at 140 watts. Calculate. And we're earning about 12% of a coin. Revenue is about 88 cents. Electricity cost is 34 cents. And your profit is about 55 cents. Even though you have to mine Ethereum in zombie mode with LOL, it is still quite profitable. $1.45 with two cards, two 4-gig cards. And I know there's quite a few people that have 
quite a few foggy cards lying around. Probably deciding if they should sell it or mine with it. Well, here are the results. With these two graphics cards on stock settings, you are able to mine Ethereum Classic and generate 70 cents per day. With Ethereum mining in zombie mode, you'll be able to generate about $1.39. And these are with stock settings. And when overclocking and undervolting, you are able to mine ETC at $0.88 cents per day. And Ethereum in zombie mode, $1.45. Overclocking and undervolting. You do use a lot less electricity with higher hash rates. The hash rates are not that high, but it is still profitable. So as we've come to the end of the video, our conclusion is that Ethereum mining is still profitable. It's better mining on Ethereum than Ethereum Classic. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below on your thoughts. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.